Hello Cinnamon Bun. So I've been making YouTube videos for about five years. Um, I think it's been at least five. Oh my God, it's been more than that since like 2015. And I um, started out with a webcam and then for a while I filmed on my phone and now I have a camera. Um, and I've even made a film and I still barely know how to use my own camera. <laughs> I really, I really don't know a lot. I uh, was talking to my friend Jen about it the other day on the phone and I was like, oh yeah, I now know at least that the F slash 2.5 is an aperture number. Still don't exactly know what that means, but I know it's aperture, <laughs> progress. And uh, she was like, Rachel, how have you gotten this far? I without knowing these things. And I was like, girl, I don't know. I have been wanting to learn a bit more about um, photography and videography for a while. It's been on my to-do list for quite a while and just so happens that I am dating someone who has dabbled in photography and who has some nice cameras and knows at least the basics of exposure. <laughs> so, we are gonna go out today and I am gonna attempt to learn the basics of how to use my camera. I basically use my camera on auto for everything. It automatically chooses the exposure and everything for me. The only thing I tend to fuck about with is the white balance, um, which is how orange or blue the uh, picture looks. Uh, but other than that, I do everything on auto. So I think if by the end of the day, I could at least feel like I roughly know what I'm doing in terms of setting the three things of exposure. The three things of exposure, <laughs> that's what they're called, right? Um, which I'm gonna immediately forget as I try and say them in this clip. Um, shutter speed, aperture, ISO. Pretty sure those are the three. Um, and I don't really know what I'm doing with them. I'm, I kind of almost get ISO, but um, I really don't know what I'm doing with aperture or shutter speed. So. We're gonna go out to the West End. We're gonna get some coffee. We're going to fuck about and learn how to use this fucking camera. So hello, welcome to my camera. Um, it is a Canon EOS M50. Yeah. 
cameras of the Lassar when you Okay, so these are fractions of the sun. Just okay. One second, way too old, but it's also going to have like beautiful yeah. colors. So when do you think you would use them? Well, like, um, so what is the one? When you're taking photos of waterfalls, when you're taking photos of nice streams and you want that, you want that like, you stick a filter on this. Yeah, so aperture is higher. And it's back. The bigger the aperture, the smaller the number. Yes, sir. We, want, we don't want things blowing about, we want it nice and crisp, so we're going to use a fast shutter speed, mm -hmm. right? Because we want everything to be in focus, so we've got our fast, okay, we know so that. We're probably going to go about around about 250 to 300, okay? For the shutter speed. Right, we've got that, let's balance out the aperture. How far closer are we? Do we want things in the focus in the background? Do we want to go up to it? Right, we'll, we'll sit here, okay? So, I don't know, we could probably get off with anything about 10, but not anything much lower, okay? And then we can start balancing out and you can look at your you can look at this thing and we'll be able to know. So let's let's apply that in practice. Yeah, well I only need eye for the only way I ever put my eye to it is because of for um what's word? I look at it, I set everything up and then I put my eye to it. Okay, that's <laughs> My name's Pete. Today I've gone with the 50mm <laughs> Prime, uh, which is also known as the Nifty 50. And the reason is because it's a good all rounder and it's generally quite good. Um, the other one I've gone with is the 70 to 200 Tamron, which is gargantuan. And it makes me look like a professional and that I know what I'm doing when, in actual fact, I don't know anything. So that's why I've gone with this one. Um, it makes me feel like I am important and I'm a photographer, especially when I'm up in the mountains by myself and no one can see me. Um, but I know that my ancestors can see me and they know that I'm a fraud. Go there. This is your perspective, right? 
to a bird's eye view of all my skin. And what try it on is like, it's like a lens, which is motive, conflict, resolution. You're looking at your life and you're actually like picking out which parts are stored. Okay, how about this? How about I'll do one of the rooms and then I'll do a close up of the one cut. So compare it. I'll just show you how you change your settings, okay, and then you can play about with it. So, what's this one? Uh, shutter speed. That's shutter speed. Yeah. And you know this means that's your aperture, okay? Yeah. So thumb for your shutter. Right. Finger. Aperture. Yeah. ISO. You just hold down the ISO button and, and roll your thumb. thumb. Okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Is it on manual focus or is it locked focus or something? Hmm? Uh, how do you change the right back? I don't know because I do it in post. <laughs> I do know, I just can't remember how. Um, is there a menu? What button? Um, can you just do it by Calvin? Press LV. Oh yeah, look at that! Hey, and then you can do it from here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's super orange. Um, and then let's try it. <laughs> yeah, but then you see through it as well. You probably don't see as much. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stop. Hi, boys. Oh, we it. <laughs> yeah, it's just very orange. So I was trying to take a photo. from hell or if it's the workout I did the other day but my back is so stiff and so achy it's not good I might actually take some ibuprofen I've got my hot water bottle <laughs> while I talk to you coffee mm. okay so today I would like to get out of the house um, maybe head into the office or hit a coffee shop and I would like to make notes and diagrams of all the stuff that I hopefully learned yesterday so that I don't forget and so that I can visualize things and just try and start to internalize it. Um, I also have the like Canon companion app on my phone 
um, which has a bunch of stuff specific to learning about my camera and just general photography stuff. So I'd like to also look at that and I'll maybe refer to that. I still haven't uh, checked on that stuff about how shutter speed uh, is different when you're doing video versus photos. So I'd like to check that so that I can start putting some of the stuff I've learned actually into practice when I'm filming. And I think I will maybe try and take some photos in town today and practice a bit setting exposure manually. It's about half 11 in the morning and my challenge in this is <laughs> uh, COP26 is happening in Glasgow right now. So getting into town via public transport with all the diversions and stuff is kind of a nightmare. It just takes ages. Um, so what I have done once and I like to do while it's still going is actually take my bike and cycle into the West End and then from there I can uh, chain up my bike and then I can get the tube because the tube isn't affected as far as I know and that's nice and quick to get into town instead of having to get a bus that's going to divert all the way through the south side and then have to come back into the city just to get into town and also on the way home as well like in the evening it's even worse and I have spent many hours waiting for buses that feel like they're never going to arrive um, and which then take fucking ages <laughs> to actually get anywhere so um, I'd like to do that I'm just trying to decide, am I physically up to cycling? And also, am I going to be okay to cycle depending on all the stuff I want to take with me? Because I need to take you, and you mean this, and... Well, I guess if I'm not going to do any game prep for tomorrow, then I don't need my laptop necessarily. And I think I'm going to make my notes in my bullet journal so that they're easy to reference again. Do I need anything else? Maybe not. If I'm just doing that, just camera and journal. So I am gonna cycle. But uh, it's November in Glasgow, which means it's gonna get dark quite early. And I haven't used my bike in the dark for so long that I don't even know where my lights are anymore and they're definitely not charged, so. Please be in here and please have the charger. Hey, we have a light. Funny story. This is a very nice bike light. It costs like 60 quid. And um, oh my God, it still works. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I haven't used this in years. Why am I welling up right now? <laughs> Whoa, that's bonkers. Okay, I mean, I don't trust it necessarily to last all the way home, but like, what? A few years ago, cycled into town, chained up my bike, forgot to take it off. And when I came back to my bike, all my lights had been stolen. <laughs> so this is the second one I've had of these. And then I've got these two little guys. These ones are just for me to be visible as someone on a bike. And then this one is like a torch to actually see by in the dark. Well, that's a relief. Where's the charger for this though? Please be in here. Holy shit, is that the charger? Oh my God, these are disgusting. Okay, so I think this is the charger. Oh, is it just a fucking micro USB? In which case I can use anything. The things are discovering together today. Fucking bikes. What a concept.
Here we go. All right. You want to focus, baby? <laughs> the proportions. Very funny. There you go. Hello. Whoa, that's a zoom, baby. Hi. How are you? <laughs> cool. Well, that's going to be fun. Some test footage. Settings. Shutter speed 1 over 50. Aperture 5.0. ISO 1000. What if we put the ISO down and the aperture up? Open up the aperture further to like this. How's that? Okay, so Kelvin's all the way down at 2600 and um, the lowest it can go is 2500. So <laughs> we've got as blue as we can. I still look so red and shiny and weird. Um, that looks better to me. I mean, it's probably that the light is coming from either side, right? That's not the best angle for lighting. So what if we faced this way? Oh, interesting. Holy shit, how much better does that look though? Literally just moving the camera <laughs> from the middle of the desk to this side so that this light is coming down. Tilt up the light. Whoa, you're struggling. Hi, I'm here. Yeah, this is way better. I wonder how it's doing with the back. If there's any green. Hmm. This is 1 over 50 shutter speed, 3.5 aperture, and ISO 500, and then Calvin's like, maybe like 3000? 2800 or something like that. Hello, it is Monday the 22nd of November and I am finally going to fin finish this fucking vlog. I haven't been able to get to it for days and days but I'm here and I've done that thing where I just like, I'm constantly just leaving my camera on by accident <laughs> when I'm not using it and so it says it's got full battery but you know that thing where you're like, there's no fucking way you've got full battery, you're lying to me. Yeah, it's a fucking beautiful morning. It's all, it's like first frost, it's frosty. And I wanna get out there. Um, and I'm heading to therapy and then I'm gonna make some more notes and take some more photos. And also I did get this new jacket and I am obsessed.
Hey Cinnamon Bun! So this vlog was a little bit different, um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was really cool to push a little bit out of my comfort zone and learn something completely new. It actually feels like quite a long time since I've done uh, something like that, since I've dropped myself in the deep end with something, uh, with a new craft. Um, and yeah, it was kind of out of my comfort zone in the sense of doing camera stuff. Um, but also, having another person feature this much in a vlog is not something I've really done, so it was fun also to do that with Pete and uh, just kind of an experience. Um, so I'm still, you know, I'm still a novice when it comes to camera work, when it comes to photography, when it comes to videography, um, but I now feel like I at least have enough of a foundation of knowledge to actually practice and improve from here. Like I don't feel just completely <laughs> lost at sea. Um, I feel so much more confident using my camera um, than I did before. Like I actually know what things like at least basic terms mean. Um, you know, auto can take you a long way, but I should have done this a long time ago. Um, so I'm really glad I did. Um, if you are interested in learning camera basics, uh, whether you want to vlog or take photos or do anything else, um, I will link some of my favourite resources below. Oh boy, I'm so excited for this video to come out. It feels like it's been <laughs> like I've been working on it forever. As you can uh, see, I started filming it like early to mid November, and um, it's it's as I'm recording this voiceover, it's like mid December, so. That's, it's been, a, it's been a while in the coming, it's been a while in the making, it's been a time in the tumming. Anyway, a <laughs> um, couple wee things that I want to let you know before I go. Um, I have a little workshop uh, on my website called the vlog as a storytelling medium. Um, about how I go about making my vlogs, uh, how I do like kind of narrative focused vlogs. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's free. Uh, you can just go to rachelstephen.com slash vlog dash workshop and you can see that. Um, I also do a little monthly live stream for my patrons, which you can join for $2 a month. Um, the last one we did was a big deep dive on all of my uh, guides and spirits as a witch. 
um, talking about like how I found them, how I work with them and all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can join and become a patron. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. Um, I hope you are well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.